G'day guys, it's Tony from GME. Today, we're gonna to be running you through the XRS Connect range of value packs. If you're not familiar with the XRS Connect range of radios, check out the other videos on the channel. We've got a couple of videos covering the key features of XRS Connect and what makes them truly unique in the UHF CB world. We've also got some videos showing you how to select the right model for your particular application. So if you're not familiar, check those out. And as always, if you've got any specific questions, maybe there's a topic that we haven't covered, feel free to drop a comment below, like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the latest info from GME. Now, all of the products that we're going to talk about today are available individually from GME. If you've already got an existing radio or an existing antenna, and you just want to upgrade one of the components in your system, of course you can do that as well. But the value packs are designed to take some of the guesswork out of that purchase process for you. So the first pack in the XRS Connect range is the Touring Pack, this one here. Now, as the name implies, if you are spending the majority of your time touring, maybe you're towing a caravan around Australia, doing that big lap that we all dream of. So of course, starting with the most important part and the brains behind the pack, you've got the XRS 330C, our super compact radio. You've also got the MC664 microphone, which is this one here. And the Touring Pack is supplied with a 6.6 .6 dBi elevated feed antenna. Now when we talk about elevated feeds, that's this part here, which enables this antenna to be ground independent, which means it doesn't need to be mounted on a flat metal surface in order to perform correctly. Now the Touring Pack is supplied with the 6.6 .6 dBi whip, which screws straight on here. But we do have a range of 2.1 dBi whips available if you're going to be traveling in hilly or mountainous terrain, or if you're driving around the city and you don't want the longer whip on the car, you can drop down to the shorter whip, which will help you for getting into those undercover car parks. Aside from the radio and the antenna, the pack also includes the microphone extension adapter, which means you can mount the radio remotely and have simply the microphone on the dash by itself without having messy cables running everywhere. Now don't forget we do have a range of vehicle specific pass-through adapters which are optional accessories. So if you are looking for a more factory style install of your radio, be sure to check out the range of pass-throughs on gme.net.au. Aside from that, we've got the microphone extension cable which works with the adapter. We've got our standard drop-in microphone clip power cable, and of course, the mounting bracket. And that's really it. Now, the Touring Pack will give you fantastic performance. Obviously, with that 6.6 .6 dBi whip, you're gonna get really good transmission distance, but it is important to note that this is not intended for hardcore off-road applications. These fiberglass style whips, whilst they are obviously very lightweight and as strong as possible, they're not gonna stand up to the hardcore corrugations that you're likely to experience in a lot of off-road situations in Australia. So moving up the range from the Touring Pack, the next model is the XRS Connect Outback Pack. Now the Outback Pack has the same XRS 330C super compact radio in it. However, it has a different antenna to suit a different use case. So let's have a look at that now. So in the Outback Pack, as I said, you'll receive the same XRS 330C super compact radio, and of course, the same OLED speaker microphone. But it does have a different antenna. And the reason for that is the Outback Pack is targeted at those of you who spend a little bit more time off-road, and I guess in some of those more challenging conditions. In the Outback Pack, you receive this antenna, which is the AE4707B. This is actually one of the newest antennas in our range. And you will notice the construction is quite different to that antenna in the Touring Pack. This is what we call a fiberglass radome antenna. And it's designed to handle those more challenging conditions. So if you're driving a lot of off-road kilometers on heavily corrugated roads, we strongly recommend that you move to a fiberglass radome style antenna rather than the elevated feed whip style antenna because this will handle those vibrations and corrugations a lot better and will give you confidence that the antenna will be able to handle those conditions for many years. Now this is a 2.1 dBi antenna. 
If you're not sure what the gains mean or what a 2.1 dBi antenna is, check out our antenna video on the channel where we run through all of the technical differences to help you select the best antenna for your application. Now you may wonder why this is only a 2.1 dBi antenna. Well, the good news is that these are interchangeable. So you can unscrew the whip from the spring base and purchase an optional 6.6 .6 dBi whip which screws onto the same spring. So if you're in an outback touring situation and you head for the high country, the 2.1 dBi whip will be perfectly suited for your needs. However, if you're then traveling across the Nullarbor, for example, you might want to consider switching to a 6.6 .6 dBi whip, which is gonna give you the maximum transmission distance in that nice flat country. Aside from the antenna, everything in the Outback pack is the same as the Touring pack. So you still receive your microphone extension adapter and your microphone extension cable, your 12 volt power lead, microphone clip, and all of your mounting hardware, and the radio bracket itself. So from here, we move to the top of the range, which is the XRS Connect four-wheel drive pack. This is our most popular XRS Connect pack, and there's a number of differences between this, the Outback pack, and the Touring pack, starting with the main radio unit. This is our XRS 370C. You'll notice it's a bit larger than the 330. It's got a metal housing, it's also got a second speaker in the base unit. The included microphone is the same. And of course, there's a different antenna in this pack to really suit that more hardcore four-wheel drive application. This is our AE4704B. You'll notice that the antenna has got a much more heavy duty construction. We've got a bigger spring on it and quite a thick fiberglass ferrule. This antenna is designed to put up with the harshest conditions that you're likely to experience in the Australian bush. This is also an interchangeable whip antenna. So whilst this is a 2.1 dBi whip, you can upgrade to a 6.6 .6 or even an 8.1 dBi whip if you so choose. Aside from that, we've got the microphone extension adapter, the same one that's included in the other two packs, your microphone extension lead, your power lead, and a slightly different microphone mount. This is our MB207 magnetic microphone mount. Now, if you've watched any of the other XRS videos on our channel, I'm sure you would have heard me talking about just how much I love these particular accessories. Once you use a magnetic microphone mount, you're never going to want to go back to the old drop-in style. We've tested these in some of the harshest conditions Australia has to offer, driving hundreds of kilometers over corrugated roads and not once has a microphone fallen out of one of these mounts. A really, really useful, simple little accessory that will change the way you use a UHF CB radio. Lastly, we've got a metal mounting bracket. So you'll see that this bracket is quite different to the 330 bracket. Again, this is intended for use in those really challenging conditions. We made sure that this particular configuration is going to be able to survive in the harshest conditions that Australia has to offer. So that's the XRS Connect value pack range. If you need any further info, head to gme.net.au forward slash getxrs.